Hi guys, welcome back. Happy to have you here. Uh, today, Kinney or Kinalau Kinney and I are going to um, do the complete Skull and Forbidden Library. Uh, Kinney is one of my, sorry, Kinalau, I, well, I just call him Kinney. Um, he's been one of my oldest friends in the game, so I've known him for oh, two, two or three years by now. He's amazing. We love Kenny. He's the best. So we're gonna go, we're not gonna go draw anyway, and um, just cruising into Odin's. We're gonna speed through the first part. I don't even wait for Kenny to begin with because it's just the guest hall is just annoying. If anything else, just just getting past it to get to uh, the archives so we can do Skull. So then we can get the key to do the Forbidden Library Joe. We do the curator and the archivist, and um, yeah, we have a great time. So here's old Kenny. He's so, he's so badass. He's doing it naked. He's so tough. Uh, I do have this sped up, you know, quite a bit because you've seen it all before. But at least this way, you can still see our our path. I'm going sharpshoot. Uh, no, I'm not. That's a lie. I'm going Pathfinder four, and he's tanking for me. I'm actually being a lot better this time at standing back and not taking hits. That's something I'm really bad at, is tanking even when I'm not a tank. Uh, but uh, Kenny's doing an amazing job of it. I'm gonna ditch off some stuff because even though I'm confident with Skull, I like to ditch out some of the stuff in my inbox just in case I don't want it to break or get damaged if for whatever reason we die because you know just one little slip up can be the end of it but you know we're good I'm giving Kenny some soups because he needed some and we're good to go I'm doing skull in real time there's no speeding up with skull because it is remarkable how quickly we can we can kill skull now it used to take us you know nearly the whole the whole minute but now Pretty much, it's just you know half that time and we're done. I'm using a weakening dart because just why wouldn't I? Had them there, ready to go. Kenny's taking all the damage. Trooper, good at this. I know I'm still supposed to be doing a solo skull. I'll try again, but <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I I can I just can't. He, he kills me every time. I'm useless. It's the throwing of the axes at the right time I'm having trouble with. So by the time I've thrown the axe he, and reset him, he's reset his health and then I've got to start again and uh, I don't know. So I'm not actually dying, I'm just, well, yes I am sometimes, but I'm also just not getting my timing right. Um, can he just gave my Emperor Sword back, he used my Emperor Sword for Skull, but he gave it back to me there, so I'm just carrying that with me. He's healing up and we're going to go through to the Forbidden Library. I'm going to go back to Pathfinder 4 because it's uh, obviously the best one to use in this situation. And I'm running into walls because I'm uncoordinated. Good stuff, Pixie. Waiting for Kenny. I don't have any lag on my phone when it comes to loading screens and things like that. It's like almost instant for me, so. Sometimes I can wait around for quite a while before people load in. It gets a bit scary during PvP, family PvP, because it's like I'm loaded in and ready to go by, by the time people are even kind of still coming in. Uh, but that's just, I guess, because I have a fast phone. I don't know why, actually. Probably that. I've only got this one on two times speed, so you can actually see the rooms that... Uh, there and um, what's in them. It's all very the same, same as the archives. Uh, Kenny's uh, tanking well. I think he's got an NC set on. I can't actually see with this angle. But yeah, he's wearing NC set and I'm wearing my dragon armor with the five shot and with the cleaver. And we're just kind of, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. No drama. These statues are so freaking annoying. They take my market, like instead of killing the enemy, I'll 
have to remark from the statue to the enemy. It can be really annoying when you're in a hurry to try and kill somebody and you you auto mark onto the statue, which by the way is not worth killing because it gives you like one limestone or one piece of sulfur or something. It's so stupid. Um, these guys will fear you no matter what you do, but just deal with it. Run, it's fine. Nothing will happen. You might lose a bit of health, but they'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, Kenny has done this so many times now. He's such a champion with this. He's He can probably solo it. He's so good. He doesn't need me. He's just helping me. I'm changing my five shot. I break so many weapons in this video. I think I lose two or three of them just by not watching durability. I could probably have not said anything and just pretended like nothing happened, but truth is I did that happened just because I wasn't watching I don't know if it's happened yet in fact I'm pretty sure it hasn't but I'll be sure to point out my incompetence when I when it arises I have no shame in admitting that I'm not a great player I do my best normally I do my best today I'm doing my best because I'm with Kenny so I'm trying really hard we get fucked up here. I don't know what happened. I guess I was marked, but I nearly died. Um, but didn't. That's why I'm having a little little chuckle, lol, because um, <laughs> cause I'm an idiot. And he's so sweet. Look at this. Yes. He says yes. <laughs> I was being actually so sarcastic, but Kitty is so sweet. He's like, yes, yes, you are. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really, really, really not. I'm just an idiot. But it's really nice to have friends like Kenny. Very affirming. Uh, he's just healing up so we can get through these next guys. He's always pinging at me, telling me where to go because sometimes I don't know my positioning. And like I say, he's done this so many times that he knows he knows where to go and what to do. He's got this mastered. Uh, this is the small boss, the, the easy one. So nothing, nothing much to worry about. I still do drop my weapons off just in case. I don't want to damage or break them if I don't have to. Uh, but this one is pretty simple. This one, we just go fire mage. I should probably cut out all the stacking because that takes a hundred years to stack. Next time I edit, I'll be, I'll try and remember to cut out the stacking. In the meantime, we're just talking about hopefully he drops weapons today i actually thought the ratio was a lot higher than it is it seems that he doesn't drop weapons nearly as often as i thought uh, but that's i mean that's something that the devs can work on but kenny is saying well i'm saying he's stingy and kenny's saying he's done it 22 times 22 times he's done this this is my third but this is his 22nd. And he's got one weapon. One. One out of 22 times. It is crazy. That just seems really, 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 really bad um, ratio. But I'm doing, we're doing this boss in real time as well. I have to put it down to real speed. So you can see it's actually really fast. This boss has no problems. Um, but stay close, stay inwards. So I've learned that. A weakening dart. But if you just stay in, there's no dramas. Because the only thing you really need to watch out for is that outer ring. And these guys. But I mean, you can do all that from right beside me anyway. So just, just chill out. Holding his hand. Um, tanking. He's so good at tanking. I wish I was good at tanking. I'm not. I, I, I'm good at tanking when I'm by myself and I'm a mage. It's just, I just tank when I shouldn't tank. I'm just, I am just shouldn't do it. But I do. And I go through all my gear and I wonder why. I wonder why I've got so many repairs. Because I take hits when I shouldn't take hits. But that's just my play style. I don't know if anyone remembers Nevo. I'm a bit like Nevo when it comes to PvE. He was good at PvP, can't relate. But he was really quite reckless with PvE. Same, bro, same. 
Um, no weapon. What a surprise. No weapon. So we'll keep going. We'll get to the next boss. I'm going to go pick up my gear. We'll go through to the next boss and see if we can get something else. I've gone back to two times speed here because this is all just stuff that you've seen before. It's all just more killings of more mobs. Nothing very much interesting to see. It is good to see the pathway and what's behind the doors. That's why I haven't cut it out completely. So you've got a complete walkthrough here, but it is going to be sped up a little. Otherwise, my initial video before I edited it, <laughs> look how scared I am running away. Um, yeah, before I edited it, it was like way over an hour long with all the, the loading screens and everything, all the bits and pieces. So uh, that's why I sped it up. We're just laughing at the stupid monster who was aiming his attack at the statue like we do. So he was not attacking us, he was attacking the statue. Idiot monster, like me, my homie. Uh, we're just gonna go through all the rooms. We open all the rooms, so then we've, we can get all the pendants at the end and open the cache because if you do a complete forbidden library generally you'll have enough uh, to open the cache every single time uh, which is so great because the loot is so special it's so great so good uh, but we're just still working our way through getting myself stunned just for the fun of it uh, all of those little if you didn't know all those little lightning bolts stun you briefly that doesn't really hurt, doesn't really do much, just stuns you. Uh, maybe a little bit of damage, but not enough to worry about. Can he thrashing his thrasher? And we're gonna keep going. We're nearly at the boss. They're pretty much, I mean, all of these guys are pretty much all the standard ones that you'd find in the archives anyway, so me reminding myself to go back. Here they go back. You're not a tank. You're a mage. No, you're not. You're an archer. I'm always a mage. That's why I call myself a mage. I'm very rarely playing archer. I need to start playing some different classes. I actually quite like thrasher for PvP. So um, maybe I'll maybe I'll do some PvP videos with thrasher. I also like illusion. So that's my favourite class of all ever since day one. Actually, it's been my favourite class. A couple of years now, it's been my favourite. Hard to change the habits, but I do have all my classes, so it makes sense to to try them out, see what I'm actually good at, if anything. It's quite a long map. I mean, I say this all the time, but it really is quite a long map. It's good that they give you a portal at the end, although I just do the cheat where I log off to uh, shut the game down log off, shut the game down, and then open up a few apps, shut them down, open up Frostborn again, and you're outside, so you'd be miss having to walk all the way out, because that takes, I mean, that shit takes ages, who's got time for that, I don't have time for that, way too busy. Uh, people have asked why I don't do real-time talking as well, and I think I've sworn a couple of times in this video, but that's why I swear a lot, and I don't mean to. It's just, it's just who I am. I'm just a sweary person, and so it just doesn't seem very appropriate uh, to. I mean, I, I don't think I swore actually all that much during this because it was so simple. But you know, for PvP and things like that, I'll give you, I'll give you real time talking. I'll do that for you guys, but I'm going to have to censor myself a lot because. And when I was doing the portals with Abby, not only would I swear a lot, I'd be like, ah, and I'll, it's just, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear how I'm actually feeling. Um, but I'll do it because someone, you know, so, well, actually a couple of people now have asked for it. So I'll give the masses what they want. I'll let them hear me get scared. Fine. It's okay. I'm not ashamed. I have no ego. Um, we're still working our way through to the boss, but we're getting really close now. I don't know what I was running from. Kenny getting scared. Still just working our way through the mobs. Luckily, Kenny knows the way to go, although, to be fair, we're opening all the rooms anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. 
just, yeah, we're just working through them. He's so good, Kenny. He's so good at PvE and PvP. It's people like him that make me, like, really envious. There's a few guys like that out there that are just so good at everything they do. And then there's people like me who are kind of average at everything they do working on it but still you know like I've been playing since global release I really should be so much better by now but you know what is it's because I'm it's because I haven't tried really I guess but I'm working on it kind of but yeah the boss is in that next room there but we're gonna get these side rooms first and I will put things down again because it's really easy to die to the archivist. He's he's a bit of a hard one to to duo. We can be. And I'm gonna plonk down a whole bunch of stuff again for the same reasons as before. Just in case we die, I don't want to lose a whole bunch of my things. So I'm putting down all my my unnecessary weapons that I'm not going to be using getting my dispel ready, getting everything else in place, filling up my supplies up the top there, keeping an extra wrath on me because I don't want to get short, you know, caught short. Just getting ourselves ready for the boss. I'm about to give uh, the best advice ever, which is actually me checking it with Kenny, but this is the best advice ever. Keep distance, not being close like the last guys, so keep far away destroy the little portal thingies they're called rifts destroy those as quick as possible run from the smoke balls don't try and keep attacking just run away and dispel if you get hit by his um, skill that is life advice on how to kill the archivist and it works so um, that is all you need to do, all you need to focus on. But just have your dispel ready, so not on cooldown. And he checks that before we go in, that my cooldown is off my uh, dispel. Because uh, you need to be able to have that available. So don't use your berserk potion in there, otherwise it'll put a cooldown on your dispel. And you really want to have your dispel available. So we're just getting these stacks up, We're fire mage, waiting on the stacks. So one thing I hate about fire mage is just waiting on the stacks, pain in the ass. And he's just checking that my dispel is ready. See there's a cooldown on it, five, five seconds. And ready, let's go. So this time I am keeping my distance. Doctor, kill the bodyguards first, in the rifts. He killed that bodyguard, um, and I will, I will go and kill the rifts on the other side to position myself to get it while still keeping my distance because his skill you can't always see it, and it really does. It'll kill you quick, man. It'll kill you real quick. Uh, Kenny is like, you know, he's been 22 times. Like you said, he just fell dead, so he just got hit by the kill. So you can't always see it. Well, I can't always see it anyway. Maybe other people can. But I, I don't know what to look for, so I can't see it. But I'm just keeping my distance, killing the rifts again. They keep coming out. Very inconvenient. And I'm trying to remember to keep my stacks up as well which I don't think I do because I'm too busy running away from one of the missed balls. And it's just, it's some, I'm not very good at fire mage because I always forget to keep my stacks up. It's, uh, it's something I'm very honest about. I always forget, oh, see, wasn't watching. And then <laughs> Kenny and I, lucky it just died off them because can I just dispel it? I just dispel it. Um, because, yeah, we, we were running in the same direction. We need to probably discuss which direction we're going to run in. 
But we weren't voice chatting or anything, so it's really hard to be able to kind of coordinate who's running where. But the snowballs don't last very long. And once the rifts are gone, these guys are pretty easy to kill too. We're actually doing pretty well for time. More smoke balls. He does get quite carried away with his skills. He seems to skill quite a lot. But, um... My st oh no, I was about to say my stacks are still up, but they're not. They're gone. Prophecy. Prophecy farm actually stacks. I'm just trying to stay alive at this point, if I'm honest. They're still doing this, using this flask. More smoke balls. Forever the smoke balls. And we're trying to avoid each other this time so we don't lead each other to the fireballs. I just fell because I got, I think I got hit by the skill. My health started to decrease rapidly, so I assume that's what happened. So I did a little dispel just in case I've got plenty, so I'm not scared to use it. I'd rather use it and not need it than not use it and need it. And we are... Oh, yeah, there. I broke my weapon there without even realising it. Just wasn't watching the durability, so... That happened before with one of my five shots, too, so... I'm just... I get too busy watching other things sometimes. Normally I'm pretty clever. Sometimes I'm pretty good at watching the durability, but not always. Let's see, do we get a weapon? Nah. No weapon. That is so bad. Neither of the bosses gave any weapons. So bad. So I'm gonna go pick up my gear again and then we'll go and finish off the last little room and then we'll collect the pendants and open the cache. Uh, which is bound to have some amazing things in it, right? Huh? Right? Surely. Amazing things. So Kenny's just waiting on me. But I'm just going to stay fire mage. I'm not going to change class just for these last guys. Actually, what is Kenny doing? Oh no, there he goes. Just checking life out. There's a box. See what's happening. Uh, these last guys here. Kenny's telling me to get there, but I don't. I'm an idiot. Too late, you know. Too late. And that is that. So now we're going to collect all the pendants and we have 32. So we have 32 pendants. I did cut out us collecting because that just took forever. So we have enough to open the cage with two left over. So let's go and see what amazing things that we get from all of the durability lost on our gear and all of the effort put in. Down to be some amazing things. Very exciting bound to be some of that new special armor or you know really treated items it is pretty though we've got to give them that it is a really pretty little walk down to down to the the cache and Kenny forever the gentleman waits for me to open I wait for him and he's like no girl you go do it so I open it and what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Fucking rubbish. <laughs> so never mind. It is what it is. Anyway, that is Kenny and I doing the uh, Forbidden Library duo. He's amazing. He carried me a lot of the way, but we still did it, and not not too sad about it. So I'm still working on the portal videos. That'll be my next one, and we will see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, see you soon.